Gunfire erupts on a SEPTA bus, killing one passenger, and police say this tragedy could have been even worse. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. Philadelphia police say the victim is a teenager, and the bus driver was almost hurt when a bullet flew right over her head. Ryan Hughes is live in Center City, where SEPTA's police chief just held a news conference a short time ago. Good afternoon, Ryan. Jim, good afternoon. The chief made it very clear that he is frustrated with the ongoing violence and this pattern that he says continues to happen on board buses. He also made it clear that undercover officers will now be on board those buses moving forward as much as possible after last night's shooting. Police say surveillance video shows a man wearing a face mask aboard the Route 23 bus and immediately get into an argument with the victim. That argument escalated and the young man believed to be in his late teens was shot in the chest. Police responded just before 11 o'clock last night on Germantown Avenue near Mannheim Street. We're told about eight passengers were on board the bus at the time. The victim was rushed to the hospital where he later died. Police say two shell casings were found on the bus and one of the bullets hit the glass partition directly behind the bus driver. She was able to duck and luckily was not hit. SEPTA's chief this morning says he wants people to realize if you ride SEPTA, you are likely on hundreds of cameras. We're going to use all of that video evidence to affect an arrest. And we will not stop. We will not stop looking for you because we know you'll be back. And when you come back to take the next trip, be looking over your shoulder because we're coming. The chief also made it clear that those face masks are a problem, he says, on board SEPTA, and that they are illegal. If you are wearing one, you will be asked to remove it or you will be escorted off the property. Right now, the name of that victim has not been released. Again, police saying he's likely in his late teens. We are also told that no arrests have been made in this case. We're live this afternoon in Center City. Ryan Hughes, Jim, back to you. Thank you, Ryan.